The climate in the Finger Lakes area can be ideal for grapes, but not without risk from damage from tough winters. Extended sub-zero temperatures can damage buds, and a few degrees make a big difference. Some Seneca Lake wineries are fine. Others lost 75% or more of their crop over the past few months. We were down to minus 18 here recorded, and therefore you're concerned not only about the buds, but you're concerned about, number one, the, uh, the crop you may not get. At Aniela's Vineyards in Skinny Atlas, staff buried most of the vines last fall to protect and insulate them. Freezing temperatures can cause a vine's trunk to split, essentially destroying it. Owner James Nosek has been monitoring a few test vines he left out. There is some green there. So. He's hopeful his crop will make it through. This is labor intensive, it's expensive, but uh, in certain years it could pay off and we're hoping it pays off this year. Wineries say this has been the worst winter in 10 years and are grateful they are coming off of four near perfect seasons. The real test will be in mid-May when farmers will be able to see if their vines were permanently damaged. Yeah, one year is not too bad, we can, we can get by, uh, but uh, if there's a lot of dead vines, we may have a little bit more of a challenge after that. The cost of a New York State bottle of wine is unlikely to go up in the short term, but if the damage is bad enough, replacing vines can take several years and is very expensive. Costs that may ultimately have to be passed on to the consumer. For now, reporting from Skinny Atlas, I'm Alex Dunbar.